This video is how to connect your Ledger hardware wallet to a Rabi wallet. So Rabi is a software wallet that we can use to connect to applications and see all of our balances from our Ledger and other wallets all in one. So we're gonna add this to Chrome, although you can download the app for your phone as well. If you have a Ledger wallet that you can use with your phone like Nano X, you can actually use this. So we're gonna add the extension right here. We're gonna set up a brand new Rabi wallet, but we're also going to load our Ledger device into the wallet so that we can use it with Rabi. So once you've downloaded the app, you can go ahead and get set up. We'll have to create a brand new Rabi wallet in order to connect our Ledger to this and use the wallet itself. So click get started and there's a few different options here. If you've got a MetaMask or a Coinbase wallet set up already and you use that as a hot wallet, you can just reload the seed phrase into Rabi and it's going to reload all of your balances in your other wallet. Because that's a hot wallet already, you're just reloading it into another hot wallet so there's no issues there. If you don't have a hot wallet at all set up, then click create new seed phrase. That's going to create a brand new wallet with a new seed phrase for you within Rabi. Now that seed phrase is for the hot wallet that you're going to set up. So you can keep that somewhere safe if you want to reuse that hot wallet across different devices if you want, but you don't have to. You don't have to use that. And in fact, if you're not going to use it, you don't need the seed phrase at all. You, you can chuck it away. It doesn't matter because it doesn't matter for what we want to do, which is connect our ledger. So connecting ledger here. Under no circumstances, reload your ledger seed phrase into this wallet because the ledger is a hardware wallet, which is totally separate. If you reload your ledger seed phrase into Rabi, you've turned your hardware wallet into a software wallet, which is not what we want to do. So that's not how we connect the wallets. So if you have a hot wallet set up already, you can import the seed phrase right here. If you don't, you can press create new seed phrase. Then you go through and create a password. This is for the application, so it can be anything you want. If you delete the app and reload it, this password has, has disappeared, so you can use anything else. Uh, if you set that password up, it will go through and give you the seed phrase, which is 12 words. You can write that down if you want, but you don't necessarily need it. Once we have Rabi set up, we can now connect our ledger. So if you're using a previous hot wallet that you reloaded in here with your seed phrase, or if you've just got a new wallet, then it's gonna look like this with a wallet address. This isn't the one that we're using. So make sure that your Ledger device is plugged into the computer and you have the Ethereum application open. You're gonna need that one open. So assuming wanting to use Rabi, you're going to want to use Ethereum or EVM chain applications, right? So you need the Ethereum application downloaded on your Ledger device. You can do that in Ledger Live. So I've got the Ethereum application open. It says ready. Now from here, I'm going to add the wallet. So in the top right hand corner, click this icon here with the plus and it says add an address. Connect hardware wallets down here and you can see a bunch of different hardware wallets that you can uh, add, but we're gonna add Ledger here and it's the same for all of them, right? Have them plugged in and then uh, add them, click next. Now it's, it's gonna read my uh, wallet address, right? So I've got my Ledger plugged in and it's going to load the actual wallet. Now it is not connecting to the seed phrase or anything like that. What it's actually doing is reading the public addresses of the wallet because I have this connected and plugged in. So what we're going to do is load one of the addresses that I have. So I can do that here. I can just click on like this. So your ledger device will have a bunch of different EVM addresses that you can load in. If you use multiple of them, you can load them all into here to watch them. I'm just going to add this one in right here. So just the first address that comes up and in the notes, I can call that whatever I want. It says ledger one. So I can just leave that as is for now, but I'm going to reload that into here. If you want to reload the other wallet addresses, you can do that too, but I'm just going to press done and that will eventually connect my wallet. So what we're going to do is go to the uh, Rabi extension again. And in the top, now it says ledger one. Uh, you can actually see if we drop this down as well. So I'm going to click this. You can now see current address. So ledger is connected. You can see that here. And that's ledger one with the one wallet address that I loaded in. And down here is a list of the other wallets that I have. That's the hot wallets that I have that I loaded in here. So I reloaded a previous hot wallet and I've got a couple of different addresses for that. So you can flick between them. So now you have all of the balances of any hot wallets that you're using. If you're using Rabi as a hot wallet, that's a different seed phrase with different addresses. But Ledger, what Rabi is really doing is just reading the public address right here. So your Ledger is connected in that the Rabi wallet can see your Ledger balances. However, your seed phrase and your private key for the ledger are separate from Rabi. They're still on your device. So if you want to go ahead and send assets out of ledger, let's press send and we'll just uh, send some uh, assets right here. If you want to send some ETH or whatever else asset, what you have to do is make sure that the ledger is plugged in when you're sending this because 
The Rabi wallet cannot control your Ledger wallet. It can only read the balances and tell you what it can send. If you want to send a transaction, or if you want to use an application where you have to sign a transaction, your Ledger wallet has to be plugged in. You can press send on Rabi, but you have to sign the transaction on your Ledger. So it has to be plugged in. You have to press the two buttons to sign the transaction, read the transaction hash and everything on the Ledger, and then confirm it on the Ledger because it's the private key on your Ledger that's signing the transaction. The Rabi is just acting as a go-between here. So that's how you connect your Ledger to a Rabi and sign transactions.